guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I wanted to kind of introduce you to my current household or um, this save file that I've been playing with since, I mean, probably for three or four years now. It's been a long time. Um, I think I actually started playing it even before we had toddlers. I don't even remember when that was. So it's been a really long time. Um, so yeah, I kind of just want to introduce this like family to you guys um, because this is the family I play with the absolute most, I would say for sure. Um, so yeah, I'm going to do a quick run through. So this is the household we're playing with today. Um, and I've been playing with the most out of the whole family because it is quite a few generations long. Um, and I'll just show you real quick. Um, we won't go too crazy with it, but we've got the founders here. Um, and then I guess I should say disclaimer, this is actually a SimCell family. So, um, and like when I first started it years ago, I never expected to play with them this long. But, um, so yeah, I guess this is me, Tirza, and this is my husband, Brandon, in the game and in real life. Um, and they had three children. So our first was Harley. Harley married Morgan from Windenburg. They had twins. They had Bentley and Bailey. Bentley married Dakota. They live in Delso Valley and they have two boys, Atlas and Talon. And then Bailey lives with her wife in San Myshuno. Her name is Miko. So they live there um, and they're doing their thing in San Myshuno. Um, so if Harley was the oldest son, Niall was the second son um, and he married Jude. They also live in San Myshuno. Um, I think they have two dogs there too. So they're doing that. And then Isley is the youngest. She um, had two boys. She actually had the first grandchild when she was a teen. Um, so Finn was the first grandchild. His father is Max. They never really got married and Max wasn't in Finn's life a whole lot. Um, so that was kind of unfortunate, but he um, moved to Strangerville actually with his brother Reed when they were young adults and you know they did that whole gameplay um, when Strangerville came out which was really fun, but he married um, Leah and they have three children, Ariel, Joel, and Blair. So I've been playing with this family the most just because they have the three kids and I've been getting them, you know, aging them up, getting them ready for college and stuff like that. Um, and so Isley also had Reed. I'll show you him real quick. So she met Johnny Zest a little later on in life. He was quite a bit older than her and he passed away probably when Reed was like a teen, I want to say. Um, but anyway, so they had Reed together. And Reed was actually, is actually a scientist and he did get abducted. And so Aurora, his daughter, is actually an alien. So it's kind of a little bit of a crazy family and it's pretty big. Um, definitely the biggest family or definitely the biggest like legacy family I've ever played in The Sims 4 for sure. So um, yeah, I've been playing them for a while. I've gotten quite attached. Um, but yeah, so we're just going to play with this little family here. Um, and it is Monday morning. So basically now in the game, I've been trying to get Ariel to age up. My plan is, let's see, it's the second day of summer. So my plan is to have her go to university probably um, at the end of summer or around fall time. Um, so this will probably be her last summer as a teen with her family before she ages up and moves on. But yes, so we're just going to kind of go ahead and start. And I will actually insert a clip to of um, them and Cass. Okay, so here is Finn, cool. and this is his main everyday outfit. Um, it's his military jacket and some dog tags and all that. Uh, and then we have a few more looks, so here's another one. He's been wearing for a long time, I like it a lot. And then I gave him some more like dad looks, I would say. So we've got that one, and mm. this one here as well. And this one is kind of a more summery look. And then it's formal wear is pretty casual, pretty basic. I gave him two athletic looks just because he works out quite a bit. Um, so he's got that one as well. And then his sleepwear, pretty basic. He's got another one as well. Um, and then his party wear, pretty casual. I think he's had this one for quite a while. Um, and his swimwear and his hot weather wear. So I love this look on him. Actually, he had this ever since he was a teen and I should have updated it because it's kind of, you know, a little youthful. He is actually an, um, an adult, so not a young adult, but I like it too much on him that I haven't bothered to change it, but I did give him this one as well. And then his cold weather wear. This is a recent one I've fixed for him. And this one is more of like a holiday look. 
Um, and then his wife, Leah, I'll show you her real quick. So she's mostly a stay-at-home mom right now. She has a little bit of a garden um, and she loves to cook too. But oh, this is a cute look on her. And then this is her, but yeah, but gardening look. She's got the gloves and the cowboy boots. I think it's really cute. And then we have that one for just like a summer day. And then this one's really cute too. I think it's a, you know, more of a mom look. I love the jeans and the top. And then her formal wear, I love this dress on her. And then that's a little more fancy for if she's going out to dinner. Um, athletic look. Sleepwear, <laughs> we've just got that one, pretty basic. And then this one as well. Her party wear, this is a nice summer one. Especially good for Strangerville, I think, because it just gets so hot. And then this one here too, and I love this necklace. I know it is kind of hard to style sometimes, but I think it looks really nice. Um, her swimwear, this is for like lounging around the pool. And then that's more of a swimsuit look, of course. And then her hot weather wear. I love this outfit. I love the belt and how it matches like her jewelry and hat. Um, so yeah, it's really cute. Uh, you've got this dress, summer dress. And this is cute, I like the top. And then this one I think I gave for her when they went to Sulani for just a nice little trip getaway between, I think just her and Finn went. Um, and her cold weather wear, it's not too cold because she's not, not um, you know, Stranger Bills doesn't get that cold, so. And then that is her second cold weather wear. And then Ariel is her oldest daughter, or their oldest daughter, and this is her main outfit. I love the earrings with the top, it matches Ooh. really nice. And this one's really cute too. I love the bright color of the skirt. Ah, oh, this one's sweet too. It's a little more dressy. And this one's fun. I like the hair on her, um, how it looks like it's been straightened. And then the hat's pretty fun. She is pretty studious and artistic as well. Um, and then this outfit is like her repping her college she wants to go to. She's still a teen, but she does plan to go to Brightchester. And then her formal wear. So this was what she wore to a winter dance. And then here's another outfit too. And then her athletic wear, her sleepwear. I think this one's fun. This cardigan's really cute. And then we have this one as well. I like this one. It's, um, you know, she's got the bright Chester leggings. It's pretty sweet. And her party wear is fun. I love this dress on her and the color. And we have this one too. So this is what she wore to Easter recently, her Easter dress. Um, her swimwear, pretty basic, and her hot weather wear is so cute. I love this little outfit. And then her cold winter wear. So this is kind of more nerdy with the, um, I forget what it's called, How, no, oh, I don't know, but it's like a Harry Potter knockoff. It's that CC pack that I, I downloaded it, and I think it's cute. It's really sweet. Um, and then we have this one. I like this one a lot. I love these pants so much. I want a pair in real life. <laughs> But yeah, that's Ariel. And then Joel recently aged up to a teen, so I've styled him recently. Um, and he's pretty athletic, so I think that's kind of his style. Um, but yeah, we've got this outfit here. And this hoodie, I like that on him a lot. And oh, this one's cute too. Mm -hmm. And this one's fun. This crazy hair when he styles it and puts the headband on, because most of the time it looks kind of like this but then he like styles it and brushes it out and stuff. It's cute. <laughs> um, and then we put this one as well. So yeah, he's pretty sportsy. He has a lot of friends. Um, so yeah, he's pretty popular in school. There's his sleepwear. And his party wear. It's pretty fun. Swimwear, he's got the hat on. <laughs> and then hot weather. And we've got the cold weather wear. Yeah. Pretty cool. Um, and then Blair's the baby of the family. Um, I think she was also like, I think Leah got pregnant again and I didn't realize and I wasn't planning for them to have another kid, but Blair's pretty cute. But she, I think she does kind of feel like an outcast. Her, you know, her older sister is so doing so well in school and then Joel is like pretty popular and then Blair is just like, you know, I mean, she's very much loved, don't get me wrong, but she probably, yeah, and she's also the youngest, so it's gotta be hard. But that's a cute party outfit. Here's one she wore for Easter, or I'm sorry, not Easter, winter, or no, 
No, Winterfest, Flower Fest. Oh my gosh, I can't get it right. <laughs> and then her hot weather wear is pretty fun. And we've got her cold wear, so that one's cute with the bow. And then, oh, okay, yeah. And then I gave her that new petticoat we just got um, recently with the update. So I think that's pretty cute. So yeah, that's the family. And then they've got Charlie. Um, he's really sweet. He's a good dog. Ask him Malamute. So yeah, that's the family. So yeah, they are sleeping right now. We've got the parents waking up um, and hopefully getting ready for the day. Let's see, does Finn have to work today? Yeah, he works here in five hours, but he's doing pretty good. They, they keep their um, stats up pretty high. Um, I think I've gotten quite a few like of these different um, traits or aspiration, or yeah, traits. So, uh, and it looks like it is actually summer kickoff. I'm not sure if that is where they don't have to go to school. I can't really remember. Let's, it might say on the calendar. I do have quite a few um, like holidays on my calendar. So if you guys are ever interested in that, I can always do a video on like kind of the different holidays that I've created. But summer kickoff, it looks like they do still go to school, I guess. I'm not sure. I don't know if it says here. Okay, so yeah, they still go to school. Um, so we'll have to get them ready. So we'll go ahead and have her use the restroom. And she's pretty good on the shower. What does he need to do? He's gonna go grab something to eat and Blair's gonna use the restroom as well. So yeah, this house here, um, I think I actually downloaded it from, um, ooh, I actually don't remember who. But anyway, <laughs> I've definitely remodeled quite a bit of it, so it doesn't look like it did when I first downloaded it, but, and they've got like a little greenhouse over here, so, let's see what's going on, they're grabbing breakfast, let's see if she can grab something before she heads out, get leftovers, so yeah, I'm definitely working on her, um, getting ready for her to go to college, that's the next thing, she's doing really great in school, um, she's got a lot of skills up, because I play with pretty much aging off, so um, yeah, they definitely have a good head start um, for college and all that. So yeah, like um, Blair's got all her skills up to 10. That's what I pretty much do for all the kids, all the like children in the family. I, I just play for such a long time that it's kind of hard not to <laughs> have them all age up or have them all level up. But yeah, so they're gonna get ready for school. Um, and then I kind of wanted to show you like pictures I have around the house. So um, this is Ariel and Joel and then Leah and Finn. But I love taking um, like family portraits and putting it around the house. I took this picture when Moschino came out and I used the new, um, you know, tripod and all that. And let's see, here's the wedding. So yeah, I just, it just makes the home feel so much more. I don't know, cozy, and I, I just really like it. But here's some that I've taken recently, just this last fall. So I like how those turned out a lot. I have more here too. I really like them, but yeah. So I just think it's fun. I have some in Ariel's room too, I'll show you real quick. They had a winter dance just this last winter, and um, she got a picture with her boyfriend Rudy and then her friend Diamond. And yeah, she's just got some pictures with some other family. There's Aurora, the cousin. They're really close. But anyway, they're about to head off to school. Let's see, everyone's feeling pretty okay. And he's gonna have to head to work as well. I'll have him use the restroom. Um, so yeah, hopefully they can plan a party for later on in the day, because um, we need to invite guests, grill, and do some party stuff, and also have some fun in the water. So, let's see if Leah can, I'll have her go ahead and use the restroom and um, take a bath. So, okay, they're headed off. <laughs> Joel just um, aged up, that was the most recent thing, so he's a teen now and it's still pretty new. Oh no, Charlie's sick. Let's see. We should have some medicine for him somewhere. I don't know if I put it in this chest here or in the fridge. I can't remember where you put them. Oh yeah, in here. 
I definitely keep quite a few wellness treats because they get sick almost every time I load into a new house. I don't know if you guys have that in your game. If you play multiple houses yeah, in one save file, anytime I load in, the dog is sick or the cat or any animal they have. So I always keep those treats for pretty much any house. Let's go and have her change her outfit. She doesn't really need to take a bath. Um, let's see, what do we want to wear today? Oh, I like this one. And what is Finn up to? He's just dancing. They're always dancing in there. <laughs> um, he doesn't have to do anything for work. He's done so well in his career. He's like gotten a raise. How many times does it say up here? Yeah, 16 times. And he's, you know, level 10. So he makes a lot of money. Um, $614 an hour. So they have plenty of money. And he'll definitely be able to send them to college or university. So we'll have him go to work. I guess I could actually have him work from home. But it's a little late for that, I guess. Um... But yeah, it would have been a good day for him, too. Let's see the garden if we need to do anything. Um, we can harvest all. So most of these are pretty perfect because I had her go harvest from the garden that is in, like, the founder's home. Like, um, well, Isley, Isley lives there as well. But they have a perfect garden. So anyway, so everything's pretty much perfect, except some of it's not. Let's see if we can fertilize. Nope. Also, definitely a little trick for you guys. If you don't want like a huge greenhouse with all the plants, you can splice them. So like with the flowers here, I've spliced like all of them together just so I have more room. Um, so these are all the flowers she has right now, but it definitely helps a lot. It keeps it a little bit more um, in a smaller space. It keeps it contained, but uh, let's see. Rival's notebook. While leaving the bathroom, Ariel notices that her chief academic rival has left her notebook sitting on the sink it's got notes homework and lots of other important information inside should ariel ret return it to its owner or just toss it in the trash um i think ariel would definitely return it the owner is grateful to get it back and invites ariel to her house to study sometime ariel didn't want to get ahead by being dishonest yeah i think she would definitely do that um let's try to play with him for a little bit and maybe get go on a walk we can do a short walk Oh, I love this outfit on her. I think it's so cute. Oops. Glory! <laughs> no Remo. <laughs> there you go. Go get the dawn. So yeah, let's see if we can invite over. Um, we will actually try to plan an event. So let's see if we can like, I don't know. I think I have some extra parties in here. Pool party. Let's do that. Gather all your friends and family and throw an amazing pool party. So our guests will probably, I think I have them all in a group. So we'll just invite um, the family over. I don't even think that's all of them. Yeah, I don't think it's all of them. So let's go here. Um, also, we'll invite some friends. So Rudy is her boyfriend. Um, and let's see who else. Okay, that should be good. Um, and then our host, we'll have them host. And I don't know, I know the kids will probably be off school at like three. We can probably have Finn come home early, so maybe we'll do it for like four. Okay, that should work. So yeah, we'll have it around four. And she's getting a little bit hungry. <laughs> She can probably eat, let's see if she can like eat some of her produce. She'll have some spinach and tomato and avocado. And then we'll go on a walk. Short walk. <laughs> yeah, at least that'll kind of hold her over until we like grill later. But yeah, this is definitely one of my favorite worlds to live in. I just love Strangerville. I really do. I love the rocks. It's so pretty. Even the downtown area is pretty nice, but up here is like, oh, it's something else. It's so beautiful. So yeah, we'll have them go on a little walk. Enjoy the nice warm day. <laughs> 
Okay, so I had Finn come home a little bit early and he's gonna go ahead and get changed into a warm weather outfit. Okay, so I'll have Leah finish up the walk and then I'm gonna have her um, actually bake something. Uh, let's see, where is the house at? There we go. Uh, I'm gonna have her bake something for the party tonight. So let's see what we can bake. And her skill is pretty high. Um, so let's see. Actually, a banana cream pie sounds pretty good. I'll have her prepare that. Um, and then, yeah, is he already grilling? Oh no, he needs to clean it out. <laughs> so I'll have him do that and kind of get ready for the party. Let's also um, turn on some music. I think we will turn on backyard music. We can turn off this one. And then let's go and have him grill. Uh, let's see. For the um, summer kickoff, let's just do, we can do hamburgers and maybe veggie burgers. Um, so we're pretty much done with the walk. We'll have her bake. And I know it's a little early for the grill, but I think it'll be nice for him to go and get that started and have her go and bake the pie. And the kids will be coming home. So should Ariel invite over classmate Aspen? Um, let's cancel just because we're going to be having a lot of people over. Um, so they've all brought home their school project. So that's good. Let's see. He seems kind of tense. He's having the edge of a breakout. Um, let's just have them go ahead and start swimming. I'm going to have him jump in the pool, do a cannonball, and we'll have her swim laps. And Ariel can maybe, um, sunbathe. And he's got the hamburgers going. Let's also do some, let's see, let's make some veggie burgers. And her pie's coming along. Oh, he's so annoyed. <laughs> All this stress is going to cause me to break out, act more stress from the th that thought. Let's see his cannibal. Oh, he's gonna fail. Oh no! <laughs> Ouch. Um, Leah can now bake fruit cake, rainbow gelatin cake, and artisan herb bread in a kitchen. She can also bake chocolate biscotti at the cupcake factory. Oh, nice. Okay, so I'll also have him, um, let's see, I was going to have him try to swim too. And she should be swimming around. And then I was going to have her just kind of relax. So we'll go and start the party. We've got all the food ready. Perfect timing. I also want to have um, him start or make some drinks. So we'll do a drink platter. Um, we'll just do that one. And I think we have a summer drink tray as well. Okay, so I finally found a drink tray. I will go ahead and have Ilya make some, let's see, let's do citrus swig. Okay, she's hanging out. Let's actually have her put on some sunblock or she's not going to be very happy. Um, so yeah, they're all swimming around. That's awesome. And family should be arriving soon. Uh, so we have a bunch of people here. A lot of them are family and friends. So it'll be a nice, nice time. I think River is actually Joel's pretty close friend. So let's see if we can um, brighten his day. And Joel did just get a soccer ball for Christmas, so I think I'm going to have him put the soccer ball around as well with his friend. She's swimming around. We'll have her also relax. And we'll have Blair grab a drink. So yeah, this pool party is like a mod that I've downloaded. I can't remember where from, but... Oh, and then there's her boyfriend, Rudy. So let's see if we can greet him. Um, let's do... Compliment his swimsuit. I think she did get a sun tan. Oh yeah, she looks cute with a little tan. 
Hanley is relaxing. I actually don't want her to get a sunburn with that swimsuit though. Because it's going to be really bad tan lines. So we'll actually have them start grabbing some food. Oh. <laughs> oh yay, they're playing with the soccer ball. <laughs> so yeah, they're just all really swimming around. <laughs> Oh, and there's um, Blair's friend, too. <laughs> fun. Yeah, they have a pretty big family. I try to get them all together pretty often, though, um, for different family events, different holidays. So try to keep them pretty close. I do like to do that. So what else do they need to do? They need to probably dance a little bit. So let's have her dance. You can probably dive again, do a backflip, see if that goes well. Uh, soccer rage, I'm feeling it's soccer from, or with another sim. And, and Blair needs to... Um, also, probably swim some more. We'll have her swim some more laps. Oh, Charlie's having fun. He loves to swim. He's always in the pool. Oh. <laughs> see if it's over there. Actually, he needs to come grab a burger. Oh no, Jules crying. Is it because he's gone through his mood swing? Poor guy. bad for him. Um, so we'll have him also try to dance. I want to make sure they have at least a decent holiday. Leah's having a great time. Finn probably needs to swim some more, so I'll have him jump in the pool and do a cannonball when he's done eating. Blair, um, she's doing good with the water fun. I might try to have her dance. So, yeah, there's a lot of people in the pool, oh my gosh. <laughs> They're swimming fast too, oh my goodness. Oh my gosh, look at Ariel dancing. So yeah, I'd say this is a pretty good start to the summer for the family and for their friends. Um, looks like they're having a lot of fun. Finn probably wants one of these in here. I guess Dakota's getting herself some. <laughs> oh, Blair's being a good daughter and cleaning up. That's so sweet. So she can chat with her boyfriend. We will break the stay. And we will discuss some interests. So yeah, they're all having a good time and it's starting to cool down a little bit. It is now just warm. But yeah, they definitely have a big family, so events like this, we get them all together and it's a lot. <laughs> but I think that makes it more special too. Though. Yeah, looks like the party is just kind of winding down. The day is ending here in a little bit. I'm going to go ahead and put up the hamburgers just so we can have them um, for leftovers. So we'll put those away. And Ariel's still swimming. She's having pretty, quite a bit of fun. I'll have her jump in the pool. She'll just do a normal jump. Oh, Aurora and her dad. They're really good friends. She recently got a nose piercing. Um, I kind of took a few screenshots of it, and um, she didn't tell him. So, but they they seem to be on better terms now. He was a little like upset about it, but they're doing better now. Cause yeah, actually Aurora is older than. Oh, we forgot about the pie. 
Um, Aurora is older than Ariel, so I really need to be getting her ready for college too. Um, so I'll have to do that as well, because um, yeah, she is she's the oldest um, as far as the great grandkids go. So <laughs> I love Nihilus' hair and also his um, swim trunks so cute. Oh, and there's Jolie changed after his shower. He, got, he did his hair. Oh, but he's gonna go swim again. Um, so yeah, everyone's headed out. The party is done. Um, let's see. Probably need to do quite a bit of cleanup. So I might have Finn go ahead and start on that. So we'll go ahead and get him started. And then everyone should be starting to head to bed. Blair is already there. She's getting tucked in there. Um, and then Ariel is finishing up swimming. And I'll have, have her head to bed. So they really didn't get their homework done, but they're all doing pretty well in school, so it shouldn't hurt them too much. Also, she's been in the um, Llama Corn Scouts, um, and she is like the top tier. She has all the um, the trophies that you get. I have them in her room. I should. Yeah. So there's the bronze, silver, and the gold. Also, you get a um, perk or a trait with it, which I thought was really cool. Let's see. You know, it's, oh yeah, scouting aptitude. All of your scouting ability makes future earning of skills a little bit easier. So she is, and she's like creatively gifted, top-notch to toddler, and yeah, speed reader. So she's going to be doing really well um, in college and just in life in general. So very proud of her. She's headed to bed, and Joel should be finishing up swimming as well. Have him head to bed too. But yeah, that's pretty much it. I'm going to go and wrap it up here, but I just wanted to introduce you guys to my family here that I have. Um, I definitely want to be sharing more of them just because, like I said, this is like the family I play with like nine times out of 10. I don't really start new households or new save files. So um, yeah, I just want to share more of it with you guys. And um, I'm always creating new stories for them and new events and different things for them to do. So I'm happy to share that with you guys. And I hope you enjoyed it today. Um, and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye.